Sorry I lied to you, Martin. I just didn't want to go to Arizona. I mean, okay, I said it. I said it in the, in one of the other videos addressing the dominant packs. It, it's for the Ben. The Ben Benny Simmons. I did say that I didn't know what his jumper was like. I, I lied. I apologize. I remember shortly after recording the video that his jumper's trash. Um, this dominant Ben Simmons, trash. Big trash. I mean, Ben Simmons on very quick, trash jumper. It's a troll jumper. He's just too slow. His, jump, his jumper's just too slow. But that's neither here nor there. We're getting new Invincibles today. We're getting new USA Invincibles. We're looking at David Robinson's. We're looking at Dan Marley. I mean, come on, bah. Come on, bah. Sean Marion, Allen Houston, Christian Leitner. We got Davis. No, wait. That's Kyle Lurie. Same person. Anyway, we're getting to it. We're going to get to the tail of the tape on these dudes and see what, what's really going on with them. I mean, we got to figure it out. We have to figure it out here. So we're going to start with Dan Marley real quick. We're going to get to the agendas because we can get a free one. And I'm also trying to open a free pack from the last agenda, the last Invincibles. I'm not done with the agendas yet, though, but I mean, you know, these are 99 everything animation. Scotty Pippen and Thomas Stanowski. Uh, is that even a person even? Who is that? Trey Young escape on, buddy. I'm liking that. Um, Steph Curry behind the back. Chris Paul moving step back. 12 dunk packages. John Morant's layup style. That's kind of cold, let it. Dan Marley only has one other card out here. We saw him in season two, so... That's cool to get a little 6'6 six, six shooting guard if you want that. I know a 6'6 six, six shooting guard that I would like to have in the game with 70 Hall of Fame badges maybe, but I'm pretty oh, sure man. that that's not going to happen at this point. We can't get any details on it. We still haven't got any word on. You know what I'm about to say. You know exactly what I'm about to say. Stop it. Man. Get some help. I mean, I'm trying. I'm, I'm looking for some counseling, but at this point, they just need to give us Kobe. Kyle Laurie on very quick. Don't know what that's about. Do not know what that's about. I mean, but for Kyle Lowry, he's a six foot point guard with a dream. If you want to run a six foot point guard, I mean, you'd be you'd be hard pressed to find one better than this. I don't know. I'm just talking at this point. This card is garbage. This is a troll card, but it's only because it's six foot. You match up against. I mean, come on. You match up with this card against. You know who I'm about to say. You know exactly who I'm about to talk about. I mean, come on. You match up against Big Kareem, it's a wrap. It's a wrap, buddy. It's seven foot two at the point guard spot, bro. There's nothing you can do against this. This the center power forward, but we already know, like, the point guard, if, plenty of people got the point guard. The point guard, Kareem, is a savage. Savage. I mean, I'm trying to figure out who can guard him, and I haven't found anybody to guard the boy. But anyway, if you want to jump in here, he has Stephen Curry escape moves. He has Trey Young's moving crossover, Tim Hardaway's breakdown. I love Tim Hardaway's breakdown. Kyle Laurie's dribble style. I mean, Kyrie Irving's dribble style. My fault. My fault, my fault. Uh, Steph Curry moving behind the back. Chris Paul moving step back. Steph Curry's layup package. Okay, so I mean, he's a poor man, Steph Curry. 6'11", Christian Leitner out here, power forward center. Another undersized power forward center. I'm getting washed when I come across... These, I mean, come on, you got you got seven foot six bold. Manute Bold is out here at seven foot six. Come on, buddy. I mean, you got you got GOAT series Yao Ming out here at seven foot six, buddy. I mean, it's nothing we can do with these Christian Leitners, these six elevens. I mean, I'm gonna bring you I'm gonna bring you gameplay from uh Tim Duncan. Mr. Tim Duncan. He can't even, he's having a hard time guarding these seven foot sixers. Gordon Hayward and Jared Vanderbilt on very quick. Trey Young escaped though. I mean, he can probably get to the basket. Giannis is moving crossover. Hopefully his jumper is, I don't know what that jumper is like. Hopefully that jumper is, is uh, easy to hit. Um, I wouldn't mind pulling, I wouldn't mind pulling Christian Leitner though. I mean, I, I'm just, Allen Houston might be a good pull too. Small forward shooting guard. 6'6", six, six, small forward shooting guard, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it probably wouldn't be a bad pull. Let's see animation-wise, though. Corey Crispert and Klay Thompson are very quick. Ah, uh, That might be all right. Klay Thompson's jumper ain't, ain't that bad. His upper release ain't that bad. I don't know what that lower base is hitting for, though. But Steph Curry's escape, Kyrie's dribble style, uh, 12 dunk packages. I'm not seeing too much. And I'm seeing a lot of pro and a lot of pro and pro. Okay, pro two leaner, pro hook, pro three fade. They're not giving these guys, I mean, it's a lot of pro in here on this card. I don't know. Elite 
motion style. I guess that's cool. Sean Marion is a good pickup. Six, seven, small forward shooting guard. There's a lot of shooting guards in this package. Sean Marion are very quick. His jumper is a flick up. I don't really like it. I'm not going to lie to you. Trey Young escape. I'm seeing Trey Young escape. Penny spin. Chris Paul's hezzy. Chris Paul's moving step back. Pro moving behind the back. I don't like it. I'm not liking it. I'm seeing a lot of pro and normal in this jumper shooting. Um, He got he got Joker's hop. His hop jumper is on, on Joker. 12 dunk packages. LeBron James layup. We only got three Marions this year, though. We saw Larry, we saw Marion in, okay, for the 2K24 joints. And then we saw him for Wild West. All right. I mean, I'm not, I'm never really looking to play, you know, play for bro, but it is what it is. David Robinson, though, is the premier out of this pack and seven foot one. Um, he may be able to compete. David Robinson on very quick. The jumper is okay to me. I'm not mad at it, but I'm not looking forward to shooting with it. Um, 13 dunk packages. We looking at Kyrie Irving dribble style. Trey Young escape on him. He's still, it's a lot of pro. Pro two leaner. Pro spin jumper. He does have Kobe Bryant's fade though. And Joker's hop jumper. So you might be able to do some damage with bro. You just may, to do, may be able to do some damage. Steve Francis signature size up. Trey escape. Did I say that already? And John Wall's moving step back. So, I mean, David Robinson might be him. He might be him. I'm not going to hold you. Uh, it's a lot to be desired, though, out of these cards. I feel like the best card out of this whole drop probably is uh, definitely David Robinson. We definitely will give it to David Robinson. I mean, just because he's a seven foot, seven foot center, throw a seven footer at the four spot. I think that's uh, it's the best thing you might be able to do out of these. I don't know. I mean, it's a mid drop to me. These cards are kind of, I mean, they are 99 plus, but we at the end of the year and they're invincibles. Come on. What do you want me to say? It's in game time and we call it in game invincible. Maybe we get some in games next month, but no, this is about the same time we were getting in game cards for last year. So these are pretty much in game cards. I don't really know where to go from there. Did the agendas drop yet? Let me, uh, let me check something out. No, we don't have agendas yet. I'm still trying to get to these dominant spotlights, get this triple double out the way real quick. Three days to do that. Um, USA for USA three. I still got to get some some blocks with Knicks players. I got to get 11 three pointers. Still got to score 41 points with a Hawk. And then we can open that pack up. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe next video. Who knows? I was trying to do that this video, but I'm not about to do all that this morning. I'm just going to bring you all the news real quick and get up out of here. That's exactly what I plan to do. If you want to sit through a yap session, though, we can talk about the fact that this game has to it just has to improve i don't know what you can do to improve my team next year besides bringing back the auction house it looks like we're not gonna have any uh i don't know the mt situation like are we gonna have mt are we not gonna have mt what's gonna go on with that because my team without my team points is kind of crazy that's kind of juvenile don't you think like i mean what do you what do you really plan on doing without I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to even call it. This is it's all looking shaky right now. Like the way we didn't even get a Kobe, we didn't get a Kobe and we didn't even get any information on a Kobe is kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? So that's just giving me a, a little inkling on what to expect from 25. I might I mean, if it's if it's if it's not looking too good by the time we start getting information, I'll figure it out by the time they give us some information, maybe in the next three weeks. Um, three weeks from now, we should get some type of, they might wait till like the day before, two days before release, three days before release to say, hey, this is what we're gonna give you because they know it's gonna be an uproar and they don't wanna give us too much time to sit and come up with a plan of action. You know what I'm saying? That's really what I feel like it, you know, the marketing strategy is, it's like, Give them as little time as possible to really come out here and say, well, you guys are giving us this and this is what's going to be included in the game. So we're just going to work this way to work around it. And I mean, it gives you time to make up your mind and say, am I going to spend a lot of money this year on this game or am I going to just take it easy, make a few bills, play the game and just have fun? You got a lot of people that are really diehard competitive players here. You got a whole fan base. You got the situation with the 2K League. You got all of the league players coming back to retail. 
I mean, come on, buddy. It's about to, it's gearing up to be a heavy NBA 2K situation for 2K25. I'm not going to hold you. The competitive scene is about to get real. Um, I mean, WR is about to load back up. U UPA is about to load back up. Come on. I mean, what other leagues are you talking about? You got, uh, you got the Staten Island boys. They about to load back up heavy. They never really stop rotation anyway. Uh, WR Select has has ramped it up. They ramped it up. I saw so many select seasons this year. 24 showed me so many select seasons that I, I mean, it'll make your head spin, honestly. And I, I mean, I stopped playing Pro-Am. I played, this is the year, this year, I probably played so like a little, such a little amount of Pro-Am, honestly, that I can't even like, I can't even speak on it really. I played a, I played a few games early. I played a few games early. I saw some glory early at the point guard spot. I did some things at, at the center spot, you know what I mean? And, you know, I got cursed out a few times at both positions. You know what I mean? You know how 2K go. And when you casual with it, you know, I'm and I'm so casual this year. I mean, at least in the uh in the my career part of the game, I'm I'm snapping over here on my team. But I mean, I just I can't call it. I can't call it at this point. Honestly, I'm just Bide my time right now, just trying to see what we're gonna get into. Cause it's a whole lot to get into next year. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it's a whole lot to get into. I'm I'm about to pull some packs or something. Why not? Let me see if I pull some packs. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Are y'all jacking this Tracy McGrady for 75 KVC? Cause I mean, I really wasn't. There's three more days left for him to get him, but I just really wasn't tripping off a of bro. Either way, honestly, this elite pack, I haven't been tripping off of either. It's like 20 minutes left. Oh, so we got 20 minutes. Oh, I'm not going to sit here and yap for 20 minutes. We're going to end up uh, <laughs> doing this part of the segment and then I guess just waiting around. Uh, maybe, okay, maybe if I can do the uh, dominations in 20 minutes, we can get off it on that. I mean, I don't know. But let me open a dominant pack. I just want to, okay, maybe five packs or something. Something around five packs, four packs or something like that. We're just going to spend this 100 KVC. I mean, empty. Nothing out of this first one. What are we getting? Okay. Andre Jackson Jr. out here. Ain't nobody looking for that. I mean, but all that that I was saying about about uh the first, you know, I mean, when I was in the training room, I'm just saying, like, we they they going to give us this information late and our heads are going to spin. We're going to have an uproar. But, I mean... If you're going to buy the game, you're going to buy the game. You've already made up your mind. And most of us have already made up our minds. I mean, if you know you're going to buy the game, just buy the game and shut up. At this point, I mean, you got all these news videos coming out with no news out yet. I mean, <laughs> Swante makes a news video every day and there's no there's no news. But I mean, we know it's you know, we know that it's just. It's just really wish list type of material or what should happen type of material. So, I mean, it is what it is at that point. I can respect it. Everybody got to get their videos off. Swante be having some crazy takes, though. He really, he really chooses his wording to be very, very ear catching. Like he, he, he's looking, he's fishing for those responses. Cause sometimes I'll, I'll listen to him for a minute and I'm like, Bro, chill. <laughs> you got to chill out. There's no way for you to keep going this hard. You have to relax. But I mean, I know it's, it's his style of content. So you got to respect it. Everybody had a style. Um, I'm really enjoying some of the ideas that All City is bringing. Y'all got to go check All City out. Um, I mean, I'm a, I'm a, when, when the news does actually start rolling, I will be reacting to a lot of these videos. Because, I mean, I just have to get my take off and I don't really have an opinion of my own at this point. I'm really waiting on I'm, I'm, I'm going off of what we got from 2K this year. So I can't expect much as we get this this dark matter about this joint. Can this be this has to be a yow? I'm not sure. Um, I'm just I haven't drawn my own opinion as we get closer. Another Jack Cousteau. Oh, my God. As we get closer to the news cycle actually ramping up, then I can build an opinion on what's going to come forth. But until they give me something to go with, I'm not about to sit here and give a whole lot of hoopla, hoot nanny or whatever y'all want to call it. Um, I mean, I did give my opinion on what I feel like should happen as far as game modes that should come back. I had a few game modes that I enjoyed. Um, other than that, I can't really I can't really say too much. 
You know what I mean? I can't really. And we get another 120 up out of that joint. So we can pull another pack, actually. Um, I mean, I did promise y'all five packs. So here goes the fifth one, right? That was four. Was that four? Y'all count it back. Go in the, go back and count it back and let me know in the comment section if I did four or five. I don't know. I just I just don't know at this point. And we get nothing out of that fifth pack. So, I mean, I'm just, just said all that just to say as we get closer to the actual news cycle ramping up and they're giving us them giving us some actual news. I'll put some opinions out. But for now, I'm relaxed. I'm I'm on relaxed mode. I'm actually having fun playing a lot of uh, clutch time right now. <laughs> I'm just, you know, biding my time out here. You know, you know how that go. This Kevin Garnett kind of crossed my mind. I was like, uh, maybe I should get him. But I mean, I think we about, we about 15 minutes out for the agenda. So I'll be right back. I'll be right back with that. Y'all, y'all hold on right here. And voila, just like that, we back to it. With the assistance of movie magic, we get our... USA fours. So naturally you get an equal chance, invincible. Got 13 days to do these joints. David Robinson gets seven rebounds in a game with a Spurs player seven times. Get eight steals with a Suns player over multiple games. Score 53 points with Knicks players over multiple multiplayer games. Get 19 rebounds with a Timberwolves player over multiple multiplayer games, win a game using 13 Raptor players, and make nine three-pointers and shoot 90% from three-point range or better with a Heat player in a game. That's, that don't sound too bad, actually. These don't sound too bad. These don't sound too bad at all. I think the hardest one of these is going to be eight steals. But, I mean, they're not over multiplayer games, so they're just... Just eight steals. That shouldn't be too bad. Um, yeah, that might be the hardest one. So uh happy hunting. Actually, happy hunting. That's that looks like it's gonna be a good steal. Um, let's open some more packs though. Open some more packs though. We want to open some invincibles. Do we want to open an invincible or three? Um uh, why not? Why not open an invincible or two? I don't I don't know. I don't know. Just might get lucky, you know what I mean? Maybe one or two, you know what I mean? Nothing cracking out. Michael Bridges, we haven't seen him in a while. Haven't seen Michael Bridges pop up, but he's here with us. Let me see if we can get out of this second one. Maybe open four of these joints. Just, uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe crack four of these joints open and see what comes out of them. Pause. Desmond Baines. We don't want no Desmond Baines. Oh my gosh, these are looking bad. It's looking terrible. 78. I mean, we're trying to save some MT, so I really want to hold on to some MT. But down the line, I know we're going to have one more drop. Something special might drop. Who knows? We want to have a million to pull something special if they drive. If they give us a, a little, you know, a little razzle dazzle near the end of the segment. I mean, because we're coming to the end of it, honestly. We get into the end. I mean, it's it's that that time. It's that little chill time between the real time before things get real time. You know what I mean? Let the beat build type of situation. So that's all I'm doing. Yapping to y'all, letting the beat build in. Just trying to document the rest of 2K24. So we get nothing out of those joints. Let's uh, let's pop over here to these dominants. See if we can just something drop out of a dominant pack. Let's switch it up a little bit. Why not switch it up a little bit? Maybe we get something, you know what I mean? Something to, something to drop, you know what I'm saying? There's no telling. There's always no telling with 2K. You never know what you're going to get. Um, I'm just glad that those uh those agendas don't look too bad. They don't look too faulty, you know what I'm saying? This might be the last pack we pull. Maybe we can go pull a base pack. Nothing floating out of that joint. That's crazy to me. We ain't nothing floating. A little Al Horford music. It is what it is. It is what it is. It happens this way every time, don't it? Did I lose you? Um, yeah, you kind of lost me there. Let's open up a, a little, a little base pack. Maybe we get some magic out of a base pack. Who knows? Who? Oh, nope. Nothing cracking out of a base pack. Jamal Murray looking all crusty and dusty. It is what it is, bro. 
I mean, at the end of the day, it's the end of the day, right? We're going to jump over here and crack one of these. How come the base packs are the same price as the other base packs? They should be like 2K, like 2,000 joints. I don't know. I don't know. That's that's weird to me. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. We're going to call it there. Y'all y'all be cool, man. Let me know in the comment section what you pulled out of these. If you've been pulling these dominants, I'm really trying to see what people got. Uh, other than that, y'all be well. Happy hunting. You know what I'm saying? Kobe. Get it? Well, hunting. Y'all didn't get that. Stop it. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.